Hey, it's Adam, and I'm here to talk about the new features in Mix Effect version 1.03, which was released today, May 23rd, 2021. Let's get right to it. So, I'm going to switch to my super source, and here we are. So, we're going to cover a bunch of things. Um, the first thing is the new super source section within mix effect so if you open up the lock icon here you'll see a new set of controls down here at the bottom and i call this the box arrange bar and so what you can do is you can uh, turn on and off grid alignment so this will turn on and off grid alignment and as you can see you can move the box around and it's aligning according to a grid and you can change the grid size by here. There's like five points, 10 points, all the way up to 50 points. So just to show you how this works uh, in an exaggerated fashion, which we'll is set to 25, you can see how the box is moving like this. So this is a, a quick and easy way to kind of align your boxes with each other. So we'll just uh, reset that. Uh, over here is the box constraint movement control so I can constrain this movement like this this is horizontal if I tap this again it goes vertical and I can't move it I'm moving my finger to the left and right nothing's happening here then you can just move this back to the uh, four-way controller okay and next we have the box selection tool so it's kind of a little complicated but what you have here is you can uh, configure all boxes or individual boxes. So let's say we wanted to configure individual box number one and we wanted to resize that one to uh, 50%. So you can see it's now 50% and I can re this, reduce this one to 30% like that. But if I select all boxes here, that will now constrain or resize all the boxes according to the value that you choose in the menu. So this is all 25%. Now you notice that the aspect ratio is slightly different. So number box number two is... Um, the same size as my iPad Pro screen, and then camera one or in box one is the 16 by 9. But you can use the final control, which is the aspect ratio control, to constrain individual boxes or all boxes according to a certain size. So if we want to do 16 by 9, boom, all the boxes are now 16 by 9. If you want to resize them to, say, 40%, it's like that. And now with the box aligner, you can now align your boxes very easily. So if we want to bring in, say, boxes three and four, Let's bring these guys in, boom. And let's see, where's four hidings hiding behind three? Like that. If you wanted like all the boxes to be squares, just do that, and they're all squares. Um, so this is an easy, a nicer way to kind of uh, create your super source layouts on the fly really quickly. And then again, all you have to do is command N to create a new preset, or command S to save over the current preset that you're in right now. So we'll go back to this and take a look at some of the other features that we have. Um, over here in the settings, there's some toggles that you have to turn on for this to work. So we have two that I want to highlight right now. One is the sticky current preset and the show transition speed menu. So if you turn both of those on in the super source section, what you'll see here is a little menu in the upper left-hand corner. It looks like a rabbit right now. That's because my super source speed transition is set to fast. If I went to extra fast, it'll be a filled in rabbit. If I went to normal, it will just be the speedometer. Slow will be a turtle and extra slow will be a filled in turtle. So you can now do your super source transitions um, and quickly change the speed right there. Instead of having to go through this menu, animation, speed, you know, that's a little slow. Um, the other thing is the sticky current preset. So if you set a preset right now, you see this one here is highlighted in orange. If it's the current preset, it will be highlighted in green and it will be docked to the left, okay? So you'll always know which one is your current preset. And then you can just tap these and you see how the current preset changes depending on which one is selected, okay? So that's the sticky current preset. I think you're gonna like that feature. Duplicate presets. So if you go to the view all presets page right here, you can Let's clear out my tags here. I was doing a show earlier today with Aaron Parecki. So I created a tag called Parecki that had all the super source layouts that I wanted to do. But now since that show's over, I'm gonna just clear that out. So, oops, what you can do is back here, 
if we go here, you can now duplicate a preset. So let's say we like the four grid preset. We want to duplicate it. You can just say duplicate. And now you have a duplicate one four grid right there. Uh, the highlight feature though of this version 1.03 is the use box sources setting. So many users have asked for a way to set the box sources for preset. So instead of like the four grid always choosing whatever's selected, in this case it's cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four, they want to be able to say, when I go to this super source preset, I want it to use camera five, six, and seven, and then one on camera one. So the way you can do that is this. We're going to go to our four grid one, the duplicate one that we created, and we're going to change the box sources. So I'm going to go show the box sources controls. This is a quick way to do this. I'm going to say box two right now is camera two. I'm going to set it to bars. Box three, I'll set it to color one. And box four, I'll set it to color two. So now you can see that in the screen. And so what I'm going to do is go back to the view all presets section. I see four grid is selected. And I'm just going to long press. I'm going to say use box sources. Okay, now you'll see a little lock icon appear in the left-hand side of the of the grid or the list view. If we are in grid mode, uh, that little lock icon will appear right below the name. Okay, and so right, what happens now is if I go to uh, the four grid, let's say if I go to four grid alternate, because um, I'm locked into that view, you'll see the same uh, sources appear. Actually, this is not locked. But if I go to super source, um, this one over here, number two, let's take a look at this. Now I've disappeared <laughs> because uh, this super source preset is, has a use box sources set and it's set to bars, color, color one, color two, and MP one. But if I go back to four grid, it will reset to the box sources that I've defined in the preset. Okay, so let's go back to this one, and you'll see uh, it's all set up correctly uh, because I've also set this to use box sources so that the iPad Pro 12.9 PIP always has box one is camera one, which is the one you're seeing right here, and box two is using input two, which is the output from my iPad right here. So I think you're gonna really like use box sources. Use them to really uh, configure your presets exactly how you want them to work. I mentioned earlier about tags. So the way tags work is you go to list view and then you select a bunch of tags, uh, select a bunch of presets, and then there's a little tag button down here and you can say add tag. So let's say you're doing a show and you want to use these five, um, these five presets. So you can just type show and what that's gonna do, I'm gonna also show high descriptions, show descriptions, and you'll see show has been listed with the little pound symbol. So if I go into the search and I can just type pound show, it'll only show those those things. And then you can also remove the tags bulk by just typing remove tags show, and they're all gone. And because show is, uh, nothing matches that search criteria, nothing shows up. So that is the add tags feature. Ah, if you're lucky enough to have an ATEM constellation or a 4ME broadcast studio, you'll note that the border controls now work properly. I have an ATEM mini extreme ISO, so they won't work. But speaking of which, if you have a compatibility update, if you have a production studio 4K, or you have a, ooh, these things are heavy, a broadcast studio 4K, or if you're lucky enough to have the massive ATEM Constellation 8K, you'll be happy to note that Mix Effect works much better with these switchers. So there was a crashing bug with the ATEM Production Studio 4K, and that's been resolved. And ATEM Constellation owners will be happy to note that SuperSource 2 works as expected. So there's a few bugs that I was able to identify now that I have um, some of these switchers on loan from Blackmagic. So thank you, Blackmagic, for loaning these devices so I can improve Mix Effect for everyone else. OSC. So let's take a look at some of the new features in uh, mix effect with companion and stream deck. So I've added a bunch of new commands, uh, super source cycle style. So you can cycle through the different, uh, transition styles that we have here. Um, take a look here at the animation styles. You can choose switch between all the different styles there. Uh, 
the style cycle speed. So you can change, you can toggle through all the different uh, speeds here. Uh, you can also change the amount that super source boxes, the, when they're highlighted, how much they grow or how much the other boxes shrink. Um, you can do the cut and auto transitions, which is like this. This is the auto transition and this is the cut transition. You can do that from within companion. Um, and if you're not on super source and you do an auto, it will just bring in auto, bring in super source into the preview and then do an auto transition. Same with cut. Uh, and finally, there's also a way within OSC to do swap boxes. So all you have to do is um, go to the MixEffect documentation page at mixeffect.app slash docs, and all that information is listed there in the OSC section. It's also important to note that SuperSource ID, when you're using OSC commands, are now one base index instead of zero base index. So if you're referencing SuperSource ID 1, put in a 1 instead of a 0. So another thing that's in Mix Effect 1.03 is localization. So uh, many people have been contributing localizations. And so the first one that I have that I can show you right here is if I can go here, type in Mix Effect. It doesn't appear, but if I scroll and find it, got a lot of apps here. Um, you'll see I can change the language. I have German and Polish. So if we go here and go to this, it will restart Mix Effect, and you can see that now the, the application has been localized into German. So if you are a native speaker of a different language other than English, German, Polish, and you want Mix Effect localized, head on over to uh, my GitHub repo, repo uh, which is just at github.com slash adamtau slash mix effect dash localization. Um, there's a link to it in the Mix Effect website. Um, but if you want to get it localized, I have a GitHub repo that you can submit a pull request and let's get the app localized into your language. So a few more things. Let's, uh, let's actually switch back to English. Let's see, go there, go there, and then go back there. So tethering status. If you have an ATEM Mini Extreme ISO or an Extreme or any of the ATEM Minis and you're using your phone to tether uh, to the ATEM to provide internet connection, now you'll see the tethering access um, indicator in the live stream. So it'll appear in the upper right-hand corner of the live stream. Uh, it'll be a little icon that looks like the, uh, the two link icon, which is like when you have personal hotspot turned on. Uh, where there's some new switcher panel interfaces. So you may notice over here, there's these uh, program preview with wide input sources. So you have nice big buttons for uh, all the input sources, which in this one are the um, cameras one through eight or inputs one through eight. There's also, if we do edit page, we also have, take a look here. We also have bigger cut auto. And then I'm going to show you Let's see, preview wide and program wide. So if we look here, um, this one here is the combined program and preview, but this one is just preview. And then this down one here is just program. So I can switch the program here and you can see me nice and big, switch the super source is big. Um, so those also have options for the larger input size ones. And if you don't like that, you can still use the, the default one um, that comes installed with mix effect which does not have the larger ones it looks like this program preview so the default one all the buttons are the same size in program preview with wide input you get the bigger input buttons um, another feature that someone requested was a larger uh, larger buttons for cut and auto so there you go Big buttons for cut and auto, hard to miss and easy to tap on. Uh, media panels, media players, I've added a uh, selector here to let you quickly go between different different things. So if I have like a downstream keyer, which is tied to this mix effect logo background, I can hit this and hopefully, yep, the logo appears right there. You do auto transition so you can see the logo right there. But if you wanted to, use this background image. I'm going to take that off air and go here. This is the what's new thing that I had earlier. And I'll just bring this one and that comes on. 
And again, this really goes to show how it's important, or actually, it'd be really nice if uh, the ATEM Mini Extremes had four media players because I'm already using one of the media players as the background to my super source. So if I changed this background to um, like that uh, kind of what's new, then I'd lose out on the on the background image for my super source. So maybe we'll see that in the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO Plus <laughs> coming in a couple years. Um, so the other thing we have is audio. So there's now a master audio monitoring toggle button in the upper right. I've been fielding some reports from users saying that they can't get the audio to like come up. And so I wanna actually have some of those people test to see if by toggling this button on and off is suddenly the meters start working. So ATEM Mini Extremes, all the switchers, you know, you have to tell the switcher to send the audio signals. And if you, when you turn them on, it sends a huge amount of data, which is why I don't have the audio turned on all the time. Um, but when you go to the audio section, or if you have the audio panel switcher panel, then the uh, mix effect tells the switcher to send the audio signals. Okay. But I think on some devices, maybe slower iPads, that signal is not getting to the, to the switcher in time. So having this toggle, um, for those people who are experiencing this problem, try pushing that button and get back to me and let me know if that works. Also for people who have the ATEM 4ME Broadcast Studio, I didn't realize it does not have Fairlight audio support. So I switched it up to use the legacy audio system. So you should be seeing audio meters in the 4ME Broadcast Studio. Um, some bug fixes. Uh, some people were having problems when they tapped the upstream keyer. If it was set to the Luma key, it would crash mix effect. And I think I squashed that bug. So if you're experiencing that problem, please let me know. Uh, color generators. Sometimes people would see the color generators start to like change randomly. That bug should be fixed as well. And I mentioned earlier the crashing bug with the ATEM Production Studio 4K. That's been fixed. And there was also an import uh, super source presets bug that caused the mix effect to crash. Um, if you do have problems with mix effect and super source, there is a new reset um, option down here which is a uh, reset presets, which just uh, clears out all your presets and then repair super source. Um, if you come into problems where you go to super source in mix effect and it crashes, try doing the repair super source to re fix things. Uh, if that doesn't work, then you'll have to reset all your presets. So it's a good idea to back up your presets. Um, and if you haven't uh, done that yet, this is the way to do that. You go to super source, go to view all presets and you can just tap export all presets and that will just save a file to your um, computer and you can then you know share with other people or just keep a copy of it for safekeeping so those are the features that are in version 1.03 of mix effect thank you very much for all your feature requests uh, and bug reports i do take them all very seriously and you know if you have a feature request that you'd like to see um, Post it in one of the various forums that I participate in, the Mix Effect user group on Facebook. We have a Slack uh, community uh, or on Twitter. You know, I read them, I read everything. And if it makes sense, then you may see that feature in an upcoming version of Mix Effect. Again, I'm Adam Tao, developer of Mix Effect. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.